Welcome to the import day here at The Hague. The weather for today is certainly sunny and the boats are all out on the water. But what about the breeze? Well, at the moment, we have got some absolutely perfect conditions. More than enough breeze to be powering up these amokas on the course. Yes, uh, no, so we've got a, a reaching course today with a start, a reach to mark one and two downwind jibe round um, and then a reach back to mark three and four you have to tack at the to get to mark four then back through the start line it's a two laps so it's the same course uh, the same reaching course but twice round and then obviously uh, to the finish line uh, through a reaching a short reach to the finish yeah, so team holes and prb coming right the way down now 11th hour racing team heavy on their stern desperate to try and put some pressure now on team holes and prb it would be very easy if the american boat could drive the swiss over the line they're in a good position to do it but they've decided to go above now team holes and prb with 10 seconds to go are dialing down towards the bottom of the line 11th hour racing team on their weather quarter team militia bio term all late for the line guyo in Environment. Team Europe coming off the line strong at the committee boat end and it looks to be the best start is with 11th hour racing team but my word that was close to the gun. Team Holson PRB also just to lure it if the Swiss team can keep their breeze clear now but it's not looking like they're going to. Guyo Environment Team Europe is taking the breeze of Team Holson PRB and they are also set to take the wind of 11th hour racing team but there comes the acceleration of Charlie Enright's team. This is absolutely neck and neck at the front. Team Holson PRB are out. They have have fallen off the foils. They're going to get overtaken by Team Militia and potentially Bio Term as well. And Guyo Environment, Team Europe, the boat that only a few legs ago was in pieces on the shore, is now reaching straight over the top of 11th hour racing team. Look at the way that the boat is absolutely bucking around. Guyo Environment, Team Europe, with that refin, they are carrying less power through their mainsail than the other teams. <laughs> and they are absolutely launched on those foils at the moment. Look at the damage for Team Holson PRB. Everyone one has rolled over the top of them and they're still in the dirt. It looked like everybody was a bit close to the line and so quite slow and it took them a while to get up to speed and Cuyo did a nice job at the weather end just nailing the timing and being at full pace at the gun. And the reward is there to see for Guyo Environment Team Europe. A little bit fast, a little bit slow, but they are just about holding into that top spot as 11th hour racing team are hot on their heels. And oh, and a big wheelie there from Guyo Environment Team Europe. It looks impressive, but it is not fast. That's the boat tripping off the foils there. But it, now the turn of 11th hour racing team to Winwood. They get their turn to fly off their foils as they just lose the balance. Uh, team Militia also to Winwood, managing to hold on a little bit better, but all of these teams are going to have to work further up into the breeze. They are all at danger right now of missing this first mark. There is so much breeze out on the racetrack as we go on board with Guyo Environment Team Europe and look at how hard Benjamin Dutroux is having to work on this tiller. Okay, come up, Pilot! I need to come up! Boat. And that's the view from on board. You can hear the rip as that boat to windward is stealing the breeze right now of Benjamin Dutroux. But Guyo Environment Team Europe is just holding on. They will be able to bear away first. And it's a controlled turn for Guyo Environment Team Europe. 11th hour racing team losing all the power in their sails just to make that safe turn. Team Militia trying to get the inside on Charlie Enright here. They'll make it, but they haven't been able to get an overlap. This is going to be dangerous, though, for 11th hour racing team. It could see Team Militia wedge on their inside. Great news for Guyo Environment Team Europe. This is always a tricky moment is to nail that jibe without damaging the buttons or the main sail, the um, especially the guys with the full main. Um, they, they really need to make sure they control the, the as the main goes across to try and um, uh, absorb some of the shock um, through the jibe. And this is an important moment because they only just managed to pull off that jibe by maybe a whole length, maybe a half a whole length crossing the bow of Team Militia. That was quite a gutsy position to jibe there. It was a decent jibe. They got through it and they managed to carry a little bit of momentum through. But Team Militia is now jibing on the inside of 11th Hour Racing Team. You just saw the white mark coming out of you on the right-hand side. Now the Americans are free to jibe because Team Militia has gone. That allows them to go. The guests on board. I'm off. Fully sorry guys but no one really is looking after you right now because the sailors are all focused on what is happening on the water Guyo Environment Team Europe still in the lead that's the lead that they won off the start they narrowly they came so close to losing at that first turning mark but a good jibe just with the speed to cross the bow of the German boat it's keeping them in first place now Team Militia go past in second and 11th hour racing team in third it's tricky and obviously remembering that in the 
cockpit there's only three people and and four winches and quite often you you can't use all four because something's being locked off on one of the winches um, so it's really really hard there's not enough hands and there aren't enough winches to be able to control all the lines you need to control on those maneuvers and right now all hands all eyes are on this battle right now between team militia and guyo environment team europe Whatever is going on behind, 11th hour racing team in third place, none of that matters right now because Boris Herman is slightly to windward of Guyo Environment Team Europe. But this is because Benjamin Dutroux is playing defensive. Guyo Environment Team Europe are reaching very high of the rum line. They have sailed all the boats behind up. Potentially, Mark, because Benjamin Dutroux could feel the danger of having a boat kind of get a better run into that first mark. He doesn't want to make the same mistake again. And Paul Mayer, further back to Lewitt, is working very hard right now. They need to keep that boat, Biotum, firmly on the place. We have got Team Holson PRB going over the top. Oh, cartwheeling, just touching down there. Sarah out on the water with Team Holson PRB. Sarah, we are flying. We are absolutely falling all the way across here. But it seems difficult for these teams to keep it on the balance. Sam controlling these boats, working all together as we come up to uh, Mark Three here, making this turn. It isn't one person on the tiller. It isn't one person on the trim. There's a coordinator nation here which is kind of what's well, hard to describe that was a really good move from Charlie Enright and the crew on board 11th hour racing team also hats off to Boris Herman because he tried to defend against that as much as possible there Mark but you know that pass putting 11th hour racing team in second place but now we can see the last uh, few uh, of our mockers rounding mark four as you can see Benjamin Schwartz is getting a real hosing at the back Plenty of chop out there at the moment. Plenty of breeze as well. But look at this, 700 metres to the advantage of Guyo Environment Team Europe. And Nico Lundvin is feeling the pressure here, Mark, because Bioterm is on the charge. Team Militia was in second. They got slipped back into third. And now they are at risk of falling back even further. If you had any doubts as to whether a reef was the right call here, Guyo Environment Team Europe have just rounded Mark 1 for a second time with a reef and a very healthy lead as well. Let's see how Team Militia take it here because they seem to be a little bit more uh, holding on to the pace. We've got a guest right now at the back of the boat <laughs> holding on. For his life. And Great. certainly somebody very wet at the moment and the crew down below working very hard right now. Nico Lumber on the left-hand side on the autopilot. Rosie and Will, as you're saying, shorts and T-shirt in the cop because you're working so hard. Let's have a listen in. You can hear the, you can actually hear the motor of the uh, keel ram. Uh, that's the the canting keel coming across. Really, be a term. We're coming round now on the heels of Team Militia. It's incredible racing out here on the Hague as our five Amoka boats are making full use of the perfect breeze that we have in the Hague. Oh, a little glimpse of the goggles on Paul Mayer's head, the uh, helm of Bioterm. Oh, there we go, a trend has been set first from a guest onto Paul Mayer and then onto the other boats. For Guyo Environment Team Europe, Benjamin Dutroux, he is getting again sprayed on that windward side, but nothing is going to pull him off the helm here. They are working hard. I love the communication here for Benjamin. And it's really helpful as the crew down below you uh, have no visibility you can't see how far you are from the mark and the nice loud countdown to the turn up just makes it makes it that much more efficient and choreographed for, for the whole the whole turn 11th hour racing team behind in second place amory ross he's got a headset on on the bow but so do the rest of the crew as well talking through that trim everything keeping coordinated yeah i think it's one of the beauties of this event it's uh, everybody has their moment in the sun whether it's an import late race or a leg win or winning the whole event and Guyo and team uh, Guyo has had certainly their their fair share of challenges, but they've also shown a lot of resilience and come back uh, and really strong. And everybody's really happy for them. And this is the crucial tack. And Sam, I mean, it looks to me like they're through. They they made that look very easy. The J2 just coming straight through. No furl required. They're already onto the pace. At this point, they can smell that finish line coming up here. Annie working very hard. They've got serious power now. I would say that they have tacked a little bit late, so they are coming into Mark Four, the last Mark with an awful lot of power an awful lot of heel but benjamin detrue looks 
calm on the helm. I only need... hope that Philippe and Annie down below, working so hard to trim those sails, have some sense of how well they have done in this race and how far behind second place oh, is. Seb's eyes down to Lua. There's the finish line. Guyo Environment Team Europe win the import race here in The Hague. Uh, Love that racing team now across the line in uh, in second place. They are through. You see the spray absolutely ripping through the back of the boat. Charlie Enright will now be double checking himself because he'll be thinking, well, hang on a minute, Guyo Environment Team Europe. They don't seem to slow down. And Amory Ross getting a hose there. And Amory. Finish line ahead for Team Militia and a third place at the import race here in The Hague. Bio term coming through the line now in fourth place. Paul Mayer surviving the spray up on the windward rail with his brand new prescription polarized swimming goggles. And then Team Holson PRB. Well, We've got to acknowledge that fact that for Team Holson PRB, this is far less than a good result here. Benjamin Schwartz on the helm, sitting to windward. They come through that finish line, fifth place in the import race in The Hague. And for the scores of the import series, this really puts 11th hour racing team out of touch with the Swiss team. <laughs> oh, is it? It was nice, it was nice. I hope we are, we are not... Uh... Too early for the start, but uh, <laughs> we don't know. But we are happy. We are doing. We are doing good job. <laughs> so, how is it to finally win a race? We have win. Yeah, it, it was. It was good. Very great team spirit, and uh, it was. It was very, very pushing hard, and uh, yeah, very good. That was. Uh, that was the import version of the leg we just sailed. Super intense. It was windy. Serious jockeying for position at the start with Holcim, and um, you, you know the start was in about 20 knots, and then the uh, you know marks one and two were at about 25 knots, and uh, the whole team did a great job today. Got really close to the starting line. Uh, so fun these import races. We had a little uh, not ideal start, almost perfect a bit early. Then we recovered, we were second, and on the Lured Mark, first rounding, we left a little gap where 11th hour could squeeze inside. And that, that stayed to the end. So tiny imperfections make the position, but uh, it was really fun to do it. I don't think I've seen you this wet all race. <laughs> yeah, all ocean race, huh? I normally don't come on deck, huh? Let's have a look at the uh, positions and the results from the import racing today. And as we have been discussing and you know, celebrating as indeed all of our teams will be, Guyo Environment Team Europe has certainly had their day here, taking the maximum five points with a first place win. 11th hour racing team in second, and then Team Militia taking that last spot on the podium in third. So how does that affect the overall scores? Well, all of our import races have been rolling on since Alicante, Cape Town, Itajaí, and of course, Newport for 11th hour racing team. They sit on the top at the moment, but with the results from Aarhus and The Hague coming in, you can see the points difference that 11th hour racing team have built up. The final leg to come, that last push, that last dash, four points. Today, though, it's going to take a little bit of digesting. Uh, big thanks to Sam Davies, uh, to Mark Tower, and, of course, to Sarah Hasford uh, joining us from the water as well for all the action here in The Hague as this edition of the Ocean Race continues to thrill as our Emokas show just what they can do on the water.